Hey YouTubers, this is Old John. I'm going to make a video on putting together a new Nordic track treadmill I got for my wife <clears throat> on our anniversary. Now, most people would say, why would you do that? My wife is very dedicated to running and she needs a better treadmill. I've had to replace the motor two or three times, the belt, a roller, uh, and a control board on her is either second or third treadmill. It was a Nordic track C2300. So we got our commercial one this time. It's a $1750. Really good price. <clears throat> I'll be showing you more as I take it apart. It came on a large truck and um, I pulled up with my John Deere L130 with the wagon on it and the truck driver and I unloaded it onto the wagon I have some supports on the left side of the the wagon. This thing weighs 300 pounds. I'm not sure what's in it. It may have some uh, pallets and so forth. But um, I was able to get it down on my patio. I have a vacant lot next to my house. And the driver pulled up next to the street and we unloaded it and then brought it down through here worked well because this thing is heavy and I didn't want to pay somebody to unload it I'm too cheap so a note here there actually is an indication on the box that this is the heavy end and uh, we got it right I don't think the truck driver noticed but he might have and we put the heavy end here up next to the mower which was a good idea so I've taken off the uh, binders and we'll go into it and this box just lifts off Like so. Heck of a box for something. Okay, we'll cut some of the tape here. Some nuts and bolts and it looks like maybe a manual I'll be looking at that probably first this is pretty heavy maybe part of the console Looks like a tray on the for the console. Some kind of plastic. The piece I took out was labeled right, so this probably is the left. Some kind of horizontal support. Now we're down to the deck, it looks like. This 
has a two ply belt on it supposedly versus a one ply some wood fillers here for cushioning the gas on the side So this thing is too heavy here to try to lift out of the box, so I'm going to rotate the wagon around and we're just going to tilt it and slide it in to the lower level where it's going to go. Okay, we took it in this way, tilted the wagon, and it's inside. Put these posts on one side. The box is actually a little wider, and I knew I had to make a turn in this direction, so I put these on this side in case the thing tried to slide off, and it didn't. So we got it unloaded. Okay, I've got the treadmill base <clears throat> sitting in the box still. And so I've taken these large staples out of the sides of the cardboard and laying them down. There's styrofoam on this end. There's this press board um, that's giving it support and styrofoam. Press wood on this end, on both ends. Look underneath here. It's a long box. I suspect this is the monitor. And then looks like those are the uh, wheel moving devices there. Yeah, there's several boxes underneath here. So I'll pull out now. Okay, there are legs on this end. This The motor end is down here. So we can pull this styrofoam off and then remove the boxes that are underneath. Looks like. Okay, we're lifting up the and you'll see lots of stuff stored underneath here. And they're stuck. They're glued to the bottom, so we'll take those out next. <clears throat> okay, this is actually supposed to be a two person job, but um, if you want to be creative, a little risky, so probably better to have somebody else. I'm just doing this temporarily. I have this little stand I have propping it up. So it's not extremely heavy, but it's more than, um, it's not lightweight. So apparently these boxes are taped down here. Hopefully I won't hit the stand and knock this down on me. But underneath here is the main um, console.
Okay, now we can put this back down. You can see the size difference. This is the old treadmill, the C2300. This is the new 1750 commercial grade. It's taller, it's longer, and the belt is wider. Okay, that's the tablet stand it looks like. These are some kind of covers. This is pretty heavy. Yeah, these are, I think, some of the handrail pieces. Two of them. These have double sided tape on the bottom of them. This appears to be a console. That's some portion of a corner or something. console. Very nice. This is the computer of the outfit. This is your touch screen. There's a tablet holder that I showed you. It goes up here. So, pretty much got everything unboxed now. I mean, start putting it together. There's the other corner. Okay, the first step is to attach the wire, which is in the bottom of this right support. This is going to go on this side right here. It has a wire wound around here. We've got to loosen that first. See if labeled right. The cord is underneath here, held on by a wire tie. Gonna cut that. up the cable okay so we're gonna take this wire which was wrapped around this and tied around the this cable and then this up through this leg. There's a wire hanging out the top also. Kind of have to feel 
feed it from the bottom also to make sure there's not too much resistance. And there it is. Now we're going to lay this down. It goes in there like that. Then we're going to put the patches to the screw. But you're not supposed to use the screw that's here. You're supposed to take it out. Put the other screws in this huge bag of screws. It's nice to have all of them labeled, all the screws labeled, and the washers and so forth. Looking for screw D. They even have them labeled by which step you're in. I'm in step three. Okay, and there it is. I'm in step three in the manual. Step three in the manual, and there's the screw I want. It's a ground screw. First, I take this this screw out. It's just a holder place screw. And I'm using this a ratcheted screwdriver, but you could use any kind, any kind. Yeah, this is really going to speed up the process having these all labeled because it's sometimes it's tricky figuring out exactly what screws are what based on their lengths and diameters. So we take the ground wire here, we put the ground screw in. Okay, it's going in now. So what you might have to do is take the screw that comes with it out. Well, take the screw that comes with it, screw it all the way in, which apparently enlarges the hole a little bit. The regular grounding screw will screw in all the way. So we're ready for step four, which is to stand this up. Okay, so we're going to stand this up and attach it here. Looks like it's going to go in these two holes. The long bolts will go vertically, the short bolts will go horizontally. All of them gets these star washers. Probably can use a well, can use a socket on this, and I will probably. And these obviously will be. There's two additional here, which will go on the other side. That's why there's four of everything. Use a socket wrench. Go faster. A little tricky on this side. May not be able to use socket on that side because of the, the angle of this. Okay, and it tells us not to totally tighten the screws yet. Yeah, see why they want you to leave it loose so you can you can adjust where the bolts go in. 
make sure things line up. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put the other side on. Okay, they're both sides on and not fully tightened. Okay, now we're going to put the base covers on and we're going to slide them down, but we're not going to um, snap them down in place yet. And like everything so far, these are marked. This is left. So we'll slide it down on here. Snap it in place yet, so leave it loose. Okay, now we're going to put the upright crossbar on. Step six. Looks like it's going that way. Step six, so we go to our handy chart here. And step six are these four bolts here. And you want to get them all in and lined up first and then just partially tighten them. And these go in with this Allen wrench to Okay, now we're going to install the tray. Here's the tray. And this is step seven. We're going to use these truss head screws. There's two holes here that are going to match up with these two holes here. And now we're ready to attach the handrails. And there are two holes here. We're going to do it to the hole closest to the front. For now, I guess there'll be another screw going in later. I assume. Okay, you're not supposed to tighten them completely yet. Okay, and we want to put the wire over like so. Make sure we don't pinch it. Now we're supposed to take these screws out that were left in here for some reason. These screws out. I'm not sure if we'll use them again or not. So we're going to install the console next. And we have to lay it down on a soft surface so we don't scratch anything. So we have to remove the pulse crossbar. First, first we need to take the wrapping off. These screws using a standard Phillips.
See there's the four screws we removed and the false crossbar. There's the crossbar. Okay, nine. It's Okay. The bottom trays are in. Just like that. Okay, now we have to put the pulse crossbar on the arms. Installed across the pulse crossbar and we're using this bolt and a star washer and this little screw. And the bar, which we had loose, we left loose before. Okay, now we're ready to put the console on. And this is a two person job. Let you get on the left. On the bottom of the console, which you can't see in the previous video here, you're seeing the back of us, but these are the bolts that we put in. Right here, two on each side and two there. And then there's your heart crossbar which I had upside down but now it's on correctly arching upward okay so these screws go right in here go ahead and put those in now 
Okay, on this pulse crossbar, I just noticed there's also two more screws. They go up here in the flat part. So don't forget those. Well, you'll end up with too many screws. You'll have two left over. So you'll, you would figure it out then. Okay, I received the mat to go under my Nordic 1750 commercial treadmill today. Um, it was a couple days late. I got it for free. It's a $50 value and it was part of the deal I worked out with with Nordic Tracks in buying the 1750. So this will go underneath the treadmill which right now I have on the cardboard that it came in. Came rolled up in this box. It's actually a Proform product. According to the salesman, they handle Nordic Track and Proform. So I will be I'll be putting this under the treadmill. Okay, I'm going to put the crossbar in the shock absorber like thing on the treadmill so we can raise and lower it by with one person. But it takes two people to do this. First we take the screws out. using the uh, Allen wrench provided. And we'll put them back on and use the star washer. This has a label on it, the side toward belt. So that's the way we will orient it. So first I'm going to pick it up and then my wife's going to hold it in place. you got to be able to lift at least 45 pounds once this has a shock absorber on it. Right now it's even heavier. slots that it slides into take the bolt off it goes across one on the bottom There's a little tie on the up here. And we're gonna face the these stickers so you can see them. Okay, in order to give you a close-up of what we're doing here, since you're really just seeing the back of us, um, this crossbar here, you take these bolts out, and then you set this in. So then this crossbar goes down in this groove, actually in this angle, and then you put the, the bolts back in. Um, and then same way with this this um, 
shock absorber or whatever you call it. You take the bolt out here and then put it back in. I think maybe you have to add the star washer, I can't remember. And you may have to add the washer to these bolts also. But then this bolts in here, the top and bottom. And obviously you locate this with the label out. Um, okay, it's got a place to push your foot here right now. It's it's locked in place. It'll stand by itself. Suppose if you push on this, no, it releases it. See if my wife can lift it. Maybe too heavy for you, but try. Okay, there's the finished treadmill and have it on the mat that we got, which is a $50 value. I've got it plugged in to this outlet right now temporarily with an extension cord. It should have a surge protector on it. There's the old one. has two fans on it which I really like because I get pretty warm. It's the key that turns it on. It's got a switch here. A reset switch you have to turn on. Here's the bottom side of it. Again, there's the cable going down the leg to the motor. Okay, the screens come on just by resetting that. Okay, I put the key on. This this has a strap that you can put on your around your waist using this and you can do a heart monitor with it using the strap or grabbing these handholds it's wanting me to log in to iFit we're not a member of that yet my wife may join it. There are some uh, workout plans you can do. It's also Bluetooth. You can Bluetooth things to it. Shows you here symbol Bluetooth. I've got it logged into our Wi Fi right now. You can do start and stop incline speed from here if you want or you can do it on the sides here 
those are the uh, speeds there's the inclines and see it actually goes downhill negative three percent this is the fan control they don't come on though unless the treadmill's running I think Okay, there's the fan coming on two of them that's a great breeze and it's got a low medium and high speed <coughs> there's the screen showing you how much time so you can do a warm-up before the workout begins it's showing the incline the, this is nice this is a new feature for us calories burned and you probably have to set up your weight and so forth on that I'm not into that yet um, so you can end the warm-up it has a track that started it's extremely quiet let me turn this fan off extremely quiet that's what we especially wanted it for actually the fans are noisier than anything It's showing that we turn the fan off. Let's put it on four miles per hour. And it's showing you on a track where you're at if you want to go just with the manual program. There are lots of uh, running programs involved in it, and you can use iFit use Google Maps you can run through different places in the world we haven't tried any of that yet it has three inch speakers here and here and um, you can use the speakers here's the speaker control so still learning about it Got lots of trays here to put stuff in these tr trays up here where you can put your drinks and so forth you can plug on your own audio to it You've got the pad I the uh, iPad or whatever you want to put up here kind of adjustable should fit all size and you can run that so they're going still learning about it but we're very pleased with what we see so far but we're very pleased with what we see so far it has flex cushioning they're going to say uh, commercial brand it's got a two ply belt on it so so I think that's all for now on this video youtubers if you like the video give me a thumbs up if you're interested in more videos I have several videos where I worked on this old one replacing the motor uh, the belt uh, the front roller um, so if you're interested in those this has huge rollers on it they're again it's commercial grade so it's meant to really be used that's why we bought it because my wife runs six miles a day on this treadmill here and she was really going through a lot of controller it's got a new controller several motors uh, belts and so forth so this should hold up a lot better for her this is still in good shape and we're going to sell it for something like $400 so anybody who's interested just uh, make a comment and I'll contact you with details so anyway this is anyway my channel is Harrison 4803 
So I have lots of videos like this. I have videos of working on all kinds of equipment and computers, doing some electrical wiring, hooking up a generator to my house, uh, solar panels, a uh, little bit of spirituality. Um, I have over 200 videos up right now. So if you're interested, subscribe. So this is Old John signing out.